I'ma just let y'all know, this vlog is probably gonna be pretty long. So, <laughs> prepare yourselves. Today is gonna be a good one. I am really excited. So, moving to New York has changed me. Living in New York for the past three years has definitely changed me. Number one, y'all know I don't like the cold. I don't like the cold, I don't like the rain. Pretty much anything that isn't sunny and beautiful and warm outside, I'm not rocking with it. So like my first two years living in New York, during the fall and winter, I spent most of my time inside. Like I refused to leave my apartment unless someone was giving me free food or there was like a really, really important event to go to. But other than that, I was in my apartment not trying to make moves. This year, I have been outside like way more than I expected. I've been going on dates, I've been going to events, I have just been outside. I've been actively making plans with people, I've been pursuing new hobbies, like I've been outside this fall and winter more than I ever have. But I'm loving it. I'm honestly loving it. I feel like when I stay in my apartment my FOMO starts to kick in and I'm like Wow, even though it's like negative 20 degrees outside, people are still out and about doing things because it's New York and people are just always outside. So I'm like, I don't know, this season I've been outside too and I'm very, very surprised by it. <laughs> I say all that to say that going into the new year, um, I want to continue on this streak of you know, social upward mobility, I guess. Making a conscious, intentional effort to like go out and meet new people and put myself in different environments. And so, as part of that, I'm picking up new hobbies and number one on that list for a while has been pole dancing. And I'm so excited about it. It's not my first pole dancing class, but it's my first one in New York. Um, the first one that I ever did was in Charlotte, North Carolina. I took a pole class pole dancing class there with my friends um, and it was so fun and I have a couple of friends that are in the industry and I have a couple of friends who just do it for fun and they have like poles installed in their apartments and so I've always I've always been intrigued by it but number one y'all know I'm cheap and I just could not bring myself to actually pay for the classes um, and really like fully commit to it I like to commit to things that are free or you know I like to commit to hobbies that are cheaper to maintain like roller skating all you got to do for the most part is buy your skates and then just watch youtube videos and practice over and over again for you to develop the skill set you need to be a good roller skater so i picked up roller skating but pole dancing you could buy a pole and install it in your apartment and learn on youtube just as easily but i feel like i wanted the community i wanted to be around other people who are into pole dancing and so with that i needed to purchase either a membership to a studio or purchase like class passes so i finally bit the bullet and was like i'm just gonna go for it i'm gonna buy the um the package and I'm gonna start going. I'm gonna commit myself to it because once I spend money on it, like I have to commit myself to it. That's just how my brain works. And I, I honestly was a bit hesitant to share my pole dancing journey on the internet simply because I do think that it is something that is often over sexualized when you take away the art of what it is because it really is art like if you watch like pole dancing videos, these women, the strength in their body and like the fluidity of their bodies is just like so beautiful to me but unfortunately the greater public the people that would be watching my videos um they would really like over sexualize it and i am not the type of person who likes being sexualized especially by strangers so something that i was definitely a bit hesitant about sharing but as someone who is seemingly a bit stiff as someone who really doesn't have rhythm and as someone who is starting from the very very beginning I feel like other people who are interested in pole dancing or even just regular dancing would hopefully find some kind of inspiration in me because I'm doing it even though I probably don't look a hot mess I hope that it encourages someone else to pick up a hobby that they are interested in without fear of judgment from other people because people are going to say things about you regardless but if you're doing something that you enjoy and that you're interested in that's all that matters i'm so excited <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie the class was hard and 
I've been a bit hesitant to even share the behind the scenes video of me like doing the poll work just because it is so embarrassingly awful. So I will say all in all, the studio that I went to um, was a great experience. It is spacious, you know, the instructors are kind and welcoming and they had everything for you there. So it was great, great in that aspect. Now, as far, that aspect, yeah. As far as the actual class, I'll be honest and say that I did not enjoy myself as much as I thought I would, mostly because I was in my head for a big portion of the class and because I felt like my instructor was not, it sounds kind of bratty to say my instructor wasn't paying enough attention to me, but no, quite honestly, she was not paying me any attention and it felt very intentional um, and that that hurt my feelings. That did not make me feel good. So it was a pretty um, intimate class. There were four other girls or three other girls so four students in total and one instructor and all of the other girls seemed to understand or grasp the movement that she was teaching us fairly quickly i was pretty much the only one that was struggling and you would think as a teacher you know go to the person who's struggling and make sure they get it down before you move on to the next thing if they're taking too long to get it you know teach everybody else their one thing and then go back to the student that's struggling and help them out this instructor pretty much ignored me the entire time unless I called her over, but with all of the other girls. Why, why? What, why is something always happening when I gotta sit down and record a video? But yeah, like I was saying, with all of the other girls, she would like voluntarily go over, correct their form, like tell them that they're doing good, words of affirmation for all the other girls. And for me, nothing. And I was like, I don't know if I gave off an energy when I walked into the room that she just did not like, but sis was not rocking with me at all, and it felt very intentional. Granted, me being the self-aware person that I am, I was in my head, because I am not as comfortable with my sensuality as maybe some of the other girls were, so I was in my head, and I was a little bit self-conscious in the environment, so that could have been me projecting that onto the instructor and assuming that or making myself feel like she wasn't paying attention to me when maybe she really she was. But if you guys could have been a fly on the wall in that studio, I'm sure y'all would have picked up on it too. Like it felt very, very intentional that she was just completely disregarding me. So I honestly started to give up like midway through the class because I'm like, if you're not gonna help me, like what? why am I here? Like run me my money back because you're, you're not teaching me at all. But I was like, you know what, Thomasina, like, paid your money like really like just try to do it so I was just doing the first move that we learned over and over again because I couldn't move on to the next things until I fully understood how to do that I left still not understanding how to do it but all in all it was a great like studio and I will definitely be back I'm just going to shop around for instructors so that instructor she was kind but she just was not my cup of tea as far as teaching style so the next time I go back I'm definitely gonna make sure that I pick a new instructor and hopefully um, we mesh better and if not then I'll just keep shopping around for instructors until I find someone that I'm comfortable with um, and that I can see uh, consistently but I plan to go to classes twice a week which I feel like is enough to um, start learning and grasping um, like my basic moves. I'm still in beginner intro class one and I'll probably take that class a few more times because today didn't go as well as I expected. <laughs> um, but I'm also thinking that I'm going to get my own personal pole and install it in my apartment just so that outside of those two days that I'm going into studio, I can practice when I have some downtime in my apartment too. Definitely follow me on TikTok if you are not already because I'll be posting more of my short form content on there and probably be able to post more of like my progression on TikTok. So I'll put my TikTok handle down there. Be sure to follow me. But anyways, I am super sleepy so I think I'm about to take a nap maybe i've got my bed is like full of laundry <laughs> this is so embarrassing but i'm just gonna you know scoot it to the side take a little nappy nap and i'm going on a date tonight um he picked out a sushi restaurant which i'm really excited because it's supposed i've never had like well i'm a picky eater but i'm not picky when it comes to like the quality of food especially when it comes to sushi so i will go to like an all you can eat sushi spot you know that's like bottom of the grade type sushi so i've never had like quality sushi um so tonight we're going to a sushi place that is like very high quality sushi so i don't know if i will vlog on the date because that's not 
it's not my thing. So yeah, I don't know when the next time I'll check in with you guys, but eventually. Hey guys, happy, happy um, Wednesday. I feel like my brain is just shot. I don't know what it is, but everybody has been asking to see me or like hang out with me over the, like I guess since I've been back in New York and it's a bit overwhelming like I said fall and winter I'm like usually in my apartment like 90% of the time this is the most I've been out and about like once it gets cold in New York your girl is tired like <laughs> I am tired like nobody else asked me to do anything for like two weeks I need to recoup because I feel my social meter like slowly depleting um and then my friend is coming she gets here tomorrow which i'm actually super excited about my bestie my sister my twin she hasn't been in new york since um may she came for her birthday and i vlogged that so if you guys didn't watch that vlog go check it out because we had a time <laughs> but she's coming for the new year so i'll be hosting her um and then i've been going on dates like crazy and um yeah just spending time with friends so it's been a lot like i've literally seen someone else other than my own reflection like every day almost every day since i've been back in new york and that is just so abnormal for me so my body is definitely feeling feeling the results of that y'all my butt hurts so bad from the pole dancing class yesterday i don't even remember like working my glutes but I feel it, I feel it today for sure. Anyways, today is gonna be a pretty chill day. Um, I'll be spending the day with my friend, of course. <laughs> um, but we are gonna go see the new Avatar, actually. I'm excited about it. I don't really remember the plot of Avatar, but I feel like it's pretty basic, and so it would be easy for me to follow along. And then we're gonna go see the Diker Heights Christmas lights. Even though Christmas has already passed, I think Diker leaves their lights up until the 28th, the 28th or the 29th, and it's the 27th today, I think. I have to send my rate card and stat sheet to a brand that wants to collaborate with me. Um, and if I don't, I don't know if I have any like influencers that watch my YouTube channel, but it is kind of hard. Like I never considered myself an influencer, but brands do want to partner with me. Um, and that's kind of separate from the modeling thing. So my eight, my modeling agency handles all of my like modeling and acting work, but I still handle all of my social media collaborations, I guess. And so it's I don't know, it's hard like negotiating rates and stuff. And I've learned so much, thankfully, because I have a lot of friends that are like bigger influencers and they already have managers. So I usually just like ask them for insight, but Y'all, it's hard. Hey guys, happy Thursday. I am running so behind. I'm supposed to be picking my friend up from Penn Station because she's coming in from North Carolina. So I'm about to head into the city now, but I just wanted to check in with you guys and let y'all know what the heck I'm doing because I have not picked up my camera all day today. Um, but yeah, we're going to head into the city and pick her up. I'm so excited. I've been kind of like in a funky mood this week and I wasn't sure what it was and I was just like overlooking it. Like everything's good. Life is good. I literally have nothing to complain about, but there's been a funk looming over me so her coming up here is like perfect timing because now I have a little piece of home here with me bringing in the new year and yeah it's gonna be good times good vibes and probably a little chaotic but that's fine <laughs> finally back in Brooklyn at my apartment after what feels like the longest day I didn't really have a long day but she 
my friend Alex had a long day of traveling and whatnot. <laughs> um, but we went and tried crispy pizza. It's really good. Honestly, I was expecting better the way people blasted it on TikTok. But you guys know TikTok, you we over exaggerating. But it was still good. I would, def I would definitely check it out if like, yeah. You would rate it a 10 out of 10? Yeah, I liked it. I okay. like the um what is it, the spicy vodka one apparently. Yeah, that's that and that's good. the one that goes viral. But that is the one that I did not try because I didn't know that they could make the spicy vodka without the pepperonis. And then like right as we were leaving, I asked him and he was like, Yeah, so we're probably gonna go back um on like her last day to go try it. She's so excited. <laughs> you said it. So now I have to it. Yeah, we could do that. That's fine. I don't know if you guys can tell in like oh yeah, you can definitely tell on the camera. So you guys know I've been struggling with skin concerns pretty much for the entire year and now that I've finally gotten my acne under control, my skin is changing colors. I can never win. Um, if you guys can see, this part of my face is super light and then all this is dark. Then this part right here is getting lighter. It's the same on this side. It's like symmetrical, which is crazy. This part is light. This part is light and the rest is dark. So I'm going to call my dermatologist tomorrow to see if I can get an appointment in the new year at some point. Um, and I'm going to stop using all products. So I'm only going to be using... Are you laughing at me? <laughs> so like, I'm stopping using <laughs> all products. You just like... <laughs> No, literally, I'm stopping all products because we really need to target what the what the problem is. Um, so I'm just going to be using my cleanser, probably hyaluronic acid, and a moisturizer. That's it. Stopping all medication. So my skin, my acne is probably going to flare up again. But I don't know. It's like we target one thing and then another issue pops up. So I'm really just trying to figure out what, like, how to just get my skin normal. Like, what the freak? And I don't even know if this hyperpigment, is this hyperpigmentation? Because hyper is like, what is it? It's deep. It's like deep rooted. So like, you know, like right, right on my cheek, how it's darker, mm -hmm. it's deeper, it's deeper rooted. That wouldn't be hyperpigmentation. That's why I thought it was hypo. So what's hypopigmentation? So hypo is the lack of melanin. Like the cells are depleting. So that's when like it doesn't get darker. But I don't think that's hypo either because hypo is irreversible. So. You know, it would literally, it wouldn't be white per se on you. But like you were lighter skin, it would be white. Or it'll be like a very faint, like light skinned. So if you could guess like what's going on, what would you think is going on? I don't think it would be allergies. That's why I was like, it's an allergy. Like it's allergic allergy. Because like, you know, when I went like got water around him, that's why I asked y'all to earn your allergy to toothpaste. Because my manager, that's how her face looked. This is how her face looked when she was yeah, allergic it was to like, Well, it wasn't, hers was more severe. But she would lose the pigmentation around her mouth and she didn't know why. Yo, like literally, this started when I got that new toothpaste. And when you said that's all, when you said that, I said, like, oh, go to the doctor. That's how I was going to go to the doctor. And I got it from this dang bootleg store next door. You and it being cheap. No, I was being convenient. I needed oh. it quick. My breath was <laughs> my breath was thin. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, I'm having an allergic reaction to the freaking toothpaste. It's crazy. <laughs> we got a long day tomorrow, and of course, I'm bringing you guys along for the ride. So cool. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Friday and um, we came to Central Park so we're gonna walk around Central Park. I want to find the rock so that she can take a picture. Oh, there she is. <laughs> so she can take a picture in front of the New Yorker um, and then, I don't know, it's gonna be a long day. We've got a lot planned so stay tuned. walked through the Met we really did not even scratch the surface like we probably only saw like two exhibits yeah. she lost me and started crying Stop. in the museum so. <laughs> it was my fault though I was trying to find food um, and I left the initial food court we were at and didn't have any service to text her or let her know so I'm a terrible friend but now we are heading to Soho to do a little bit of shopping before tonight, maybe pick up an outfit for New Year's Eve tomorrow night. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. I need a nap. We've been out all day.
We are all dolled up and heading to dinner. We're super late, but I just called and they said it's fine, so. <laughs> Gotta love dining in New York. You never know when the train is gonna be delayed. I always, I always blame it on the train. It's always the train's fault. So it's going on 11 o'clock at night and we actually are back at my apartment We ended up not going to the party because Alex's feet were hurting and I wasn't gonna make her go through that so we are back home and I'm about to finish watching the best man final chapters and take my behind the bed like I'm kind of glad she didn't want to go anymore because after I eat I'm like I can't drink on a full stomach and I have to be in the mood to drink. Like if you guys know me, I do not drink often at all. So it definitely has to be like a special occasion and tonight did not feel like that night. So <laughs> it really did feel like a come back home and go to bed kind of night. Um, but New Year's Eve is tomorrow and we had an entire day planned, but it's all supposed to be a rainy day tomorrow. So I don't really know how much of that is gonna be fulfilled, but we'll see. Oh no. But nobody saw me in this outfit, so of course I'm definitely going to wear it again because I don't feel like I got a, enough cute pictures in it. So yeah, we're going to repeat the outfit and nobody's going to say anything to me because that's my business. Okay, so it's looking like today is just going to be a full day of hopping around and eating at different spots. We just love Dumpling Man and honestly, like no offense, but I don't get the hype. Like. It's very overhyped on TikTok. I'm glad we tried it. Definitely try it out if you're a dumpling kind of person. I had the veggie and shrimp just because I'm pescatarian. So if you're a meat eater, your options may be better than what I had. But check it out and form your own opinion. For me, I probably won't go back. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Oh yeah, and it's cash only. But now we are heading to Tres Leches Cafe. You guys know I love my Tres Leches. And it is on the way to the hot pot place that Alex wants to go to. So, again, it's rainy and gross today. So, it is looking like we're just eating for the new year. Bringing in, bringing in the new year with full bellies. Like... I definitely should have been vlogging like a get ready with me type of video, but... Honestly, I am too chaotic for that, so this is what you guys are gonna get. Alex and I are getting ready to go to the club. It's like 10 o'clock at night. We are literally going to the club to do like a New Year's toast, and then we're coming back to Brooklyn. Like, that is it. That is the extent of our New Year's plans. We've been out eating all day. We did like a foodie tour. Um, and yeah, I feel like we're not really in the mood to like party hard. So we're going to go do a little New Year's toast or whatever and then call it a night. Unless like something crazy happens, I feel like that's going to be the extent of what we do tonight. I've been playing around with the makeup more. I'm still like, it, I still wouldn't consider it a beat. It's like a, I'm putting stuff on my face so I look a little different type of beat, but not like a full like glam beat. It's very like... It's giving very baby girl, like, obviously the more I practice, the better I'll be, but as of right now, you guys are getting the bare, <laughs> the bare minimum. Once I learn how to do a liner, I feel like that would really take my look to like the next level. All right, what else do I need? Oh, mascara. And with that, the 2022 season comes to an end. Good night. We are back. It is 1.15 in the morning. Y'all, we literally lasted like an hour there, maybe. It was not giving what it was supposed to give. But whatever. 2023. I'm excited to be here. We made it. Feeling great. Living better. But yeah, I'm about to go to bed. I ain't got nothing left for you guys. But I hope... You had a nice and safe and joyous new year, however you chose to bring it in. Hey guys, I feel like I have not vlogged today at all, but 
We are now on the way to Staten Island Ferry. Um, we're gonna take the ferry at sunset to get a pretty view of the Statue of Liberty. It's definitely a fun and free thing to do, especially if you're someone who loves the water like me. The views are just unmatched. I prefer to do it in like the spring and summer just because it's warmer, but still worth it to do in the fall or winter if you're just kind of like bored and want to be a tourist for a day. We've pretty much just been eating our lives away, honestly, and it has been a time. It has been a time. Tuesday. Alex officially left earlier today. It has been such a long weekend. Alex was here for a week and it honestly like it felt like so much longer but it also flew by simultaneously. I don't know how that's possible but that's just how it feels and so today I deep cleaned my apartment, did laundry, cut my hair, went and got my eyebrows done. So the things that I typically do on Sundays, I did today on Tuesday since Alex has been here. I know a lot of people have the tradition of like deep cleaning their apartment and like their wardrobe and pretty much everything when the new year rolls around. I usually like to do it on the first, but again, I was kind of occupied. So <laughs> got it done today and I'm feeling really good. Really excited about this year. It's off to a great start. And yeah, I'm just speaking positivity over my life and speaking positivity over my relationships and the relationships to come and my dreams and my endeavors and achieving all my goals. Like it is going to be a great year. 2022 was great for me. And I believe 2023 is gonna be just as great, if not better. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good about it. Tomorrow I have my first booking of the year. Pause for applause. <laughs> so my first booking of the year tomorrow, I'm not going to vlog just because I have to give myself time to catch up on content and edit stuff for TikTok and edit this vlog and get it out on time to you guys. So I'm not, I don't think I'm going to vlog um, the booking, but my call time is eight. But the studio is two hours away from me because you guys know I don't drive here in New York. My car is still in North Carolina, so I have to take public transit everywhere. So because I'm taking public transit, it's going to be two hours away. Is this PA? Where is this? That's a good question. Oh, no, it's still in New York. I guess it's just more upstate. So yeah, two hours away. So I'm going to wake up around 430 to get to Grand Central by... 6.30 to catch the metro to head upstate. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a long day tomorrow. So I wouldn't even have the bandwidth or the patience to pick up and vlog tomorrow. So I will just check in with you guys in the next vlog. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this very long and chaotic vlog. I feel like Alex and I did so much while she was here, most of which was just like eating. But I feel like it's a lot to pack into one vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope that we gave you guys some um, some good food recommendations because we did eat at a lot of nice or tasty restaurants. So I hope you guys get a chance to check them out. But anywho, I'm not going to continue talking to you guys' head off. I'm going to go paint my nails, do my skincare routine, and take my behind to bed because this 4.30 wake-up call not sitting right with me but i'm thankful i'm thankful to be booked and busy we are speaking that over all 2023 so on that note i will catch you guys in the next video bye